So we would like to welcome you to the presidential candidate debate for the 2024-2025 Nkusa. Uh, so first, we would like to give you three minutes uh, each to please introduce yourselves and also give the comrades something to know you by as a first impression. Please, uh, let's start with... Uh, David. Thank you so much. Good evening, uh, fellow comrades. Thank you so much. Let's kindly be orderly. Uh, Madam Dean, the panel, and uh, the entire Mount Kenya University institution or fraternity. Good evening. Good evening once more. Thank you so much. Uh, Kalema David Kitiya is my name. I am a third year student in Mount Kenya University, pursuing bachelor's in arts of education. I am a teacher of mathematics and business. And I am a man. And I am a man of surety. And not a man of probability. Always ready to stand in for the grievances and for the rights of the comrades. I am a man who is honest. I am a man who is fearless to face challenges at all times. Thank you so much and may God bless you all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much the panel for having us here this evening. I am delighted and I'm excited. I am a man full of joy. I'm happy today. I have been given three minutes to introduce myself and maybe to say something about me which I think I'm going to utilize very well. So to begin with, my name is Samuel Emitai. Well known as Simba. And I'm a... Let me... Let me is a born again Christian and the love of our Lord Jesus. And... Uh, Today we are here, I believe we are here for the debate of the presidential candidates. I am also a student here at MKU, which I am very passionate about it, in the School of Business and Economics, pursuing bachelors. I've said I'm pursuing bachelors in arts and public administration. I am in my second year. I also happen to have a diploma in procurement in the same institution which I enrolled back in 2019 and here today I am for this debate. I am aspiring to become the next president of MKU not because Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, allow me finish so that we can give the panel a good time kindly. So, I'm aspiring to become the next president of these great comrades, which um, I believe it is going to happen. So that is me, and I normally identify myself with only three terms, that I am a kingdom seeker, a political commendator, and a passionate farmer. Asantini, Asantini. So please give the mic to Mr. Eric. Uh, I believe the rest have already introduced themselves. So please, you have, uh, because you are late, we'll give you two minutes to please introduce yourself. To the commissioners, the moderators, and my worthy and competent uh, fellow comrades, good evening. Rico Power. Rico fire. 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 
azikishaka thank you very much i'm called eriko chien alias the known as eriko fire i'm a bona fide student of mount kenya university taking criminology and security studies comrades comrades i today welcome you officially to the day of covenant and you all you are all covenanters Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. The first question will be to all of you. So listen carefully. As the chair of both the MKU Main Campus Students Council and the Mkusa Governing Council, how will you manage all the egos and strong opinions from your fellow leaders to ensure there is no conflict? We'll start with Lemite. <laughs> Okay, tutulie, tutulie. Thank you very much, Madam Commissioner. I guess if I have understood your question very well, you are asking if, uh, as the chair of Mkusa Council, how will I control uh, the conflicts between the other student body? Is that the question? Is that the question? Between the student council, within the student council. Thank you very much. I guess, personally, I started by saying that in my social life, in my social life, I'm a person that easily interacts with people, especially now that I'm a peer student public relations, which uh, I've been able to understand very well. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, I guess the first thing that I will do to make sure that there will be no differences in the student council is to make sure that everyone is within the parameters of, the, of his rules and what he is, is pertaining to do. So, personally, I will first. So the, the first thing is to ensure that the other body or the other the other the other student council uh, representatives understands very well their duties, their roles and responsibilities, so that we might not have bridging of roles and responsibilities. Secondly. Secondly. Secondly, I guess. I will, the first thing that I will also do is to stamp my authority. As the chairperson, as the chairperson of the Mkusa Council, I will ensure that all the other cabinets will take rules or even directions from my office so that I may be able to control anything that will be taking place in the entire student council. Comrades wisdom. Comrades wisdom. Comrades wisdom. Thank you very much for the question. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, supporters. Thank you very much. First, any, any Mkusa or, or member of the council who will be in operation, we well know that we are dealing with the comrades whose intellectual capacity and well results are optimum. Therefore, therefore comrades, therefore comrades, therefore comrades, after you've given me the power to be the Kusa chairperson, I have all the authority to manage and control all my council members. Secondly comrades, secondly comrades, as we have all read the constitution of Mkusa, every member of the council, they are all aware of their mandates as stipulated, well articulated in the constitution. So everyone will ensure that they perform their mandate as stipulated by the constitution. Thirdly, comrades, thirdly, comrades, 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 thirdly, as a member of Mkusa Council, everyone is aware and we, we all engage in our forthwise candid conversation. And therefore, 
I am a man of dignity and decorum and I believe in conversation and a consensus. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's be orderly because I want to disperse my wisdom. Kindly be quiet. Thank you so much. Just 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 a humble request. A humble request to my to my supporters. Kindly. Allow me to feed these people with information. So let's be quiet. Uh, thank you for the question. Thank you for the question. And I want us to get the question very clear. Because my uh, Kindly just come up with a question. Just a minute. Yeah. As the chair of both the MKU main campus, Students' Council, and the MKUSA Governing Council, how will you manage all the egos and strong opinions from your fellow leaders to ensure there is no conflict? Thank you so much, madam, for that question. Uh, first of all, allow me to recognize that we all as human beings we are of different ideologies we are of different ideologies therefore if we cannot have a person that is right minded in decision making therefore there is going to be a conflict in decision making so one thing that I will do when elected as the chairperson of the Mkusa Council is to ensure that I incorporate all the decisions that are given out by the duly elected members of the council because these people that have been elected means that these people have been trusted by the comrades. Therefore, they represent the grievances of the comrades. So, we will not progress and we will have a conflict if we do not come to an agreement of having one decision in management. Finally, 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 the last thing that I will do to ensure that there is no conflict in Mkusa uh, Council and the Mkusa at large. One thing that I will do, I will hold meetings severally. The chairperson of Mkusa Council is the chairperson of the is the chair chair of the meetings. Therefore, I will always make sure there are meetings that are held to ensure that we engage with these people and I get to understand and I get to understand the people that I'm working with and I get to uh, create a rapport with them. Thank you so much and may God bless you. Okay, on to the next question. We will start with uh, Mr. Eric. What will be the cornerstone of your tenure if elected as the Mkusa chairperson? What will be the cornerstone of your tenure if elected Nkusa chairperson? Thank you very much for the question, the commissioner and moderator. Once, once elected as the Nkusa chairperson, I will ensure that I run my functions as per the Nkusa constitution. It's well stipulated in the constitution not running out of my duties not running out of my duties to bring confusion because every member has his own functions to deliver and therefore when I I perform my duty as stipulated in the constitution I think that I will avoid conflicts within my members of the council thank you I guess, Madam Commissioner, you are asking the cornerstone of my administration. If I get a chance to be elected as the 
chairperson of Mukusa. And the cornerstone, I guess, in my administration, very clear that it will be the Mukusa constitution. And in case, and in case, thank you, thank you, it will be the Mukusa constitution and also these comrades because they are my concern. So anything that I will want to do before I implement anything, I must consult these comrades. And in case, thank you, thank you. And in case, and in case there might be a need for interpretation, I will work hand in hand with the Dean of Students to make sure that the, consti the Constitution or the Mpusa Constitution is interpreted well. Thank you very much. Uh, I think the question was very specific by asking what will be the cornerstone of David Kalema in my administration. And I am just surprised because my competitor are gazing. They are gazing. This is not something they are sure of. Thank you. Thank you. So I said, I said, I am not a man of probability, but I am a man of assurity. This is. This is my cornerstone of my administration because I want to do one thing that has never been done in Mukusa. So I have read the constitution of Mukusa and I have understood it. And I just came to realize that there is something by the name Mukusa Kiti. The Mukusa Kiti. The Mukusa Kiti is a fan that is there and it is managed by the Mukusa Council. Therefore, one thing that I will do is that I am going to work out my ways and ensure that in my administration at least we are going to give bursaries to students in my administration. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let us not waste time. Let us not waste time. Tafadhali. Let's, let's maintain time. Let's keep time. Let's keep time. Tafadhali. So one thing that I will be happy and uh, I will be one thing that I will do to be the happiest man to, be, to have served in the Mukusa Council is ensuring that at least we have given student bursaries from the Mukusa Kitty. I, am, I have the ability, I have the means on which we can get resources and get this student to class because many students are suffering outside here. Many students are not uh, are deferring their semesters, but we want them to come back to school. So instead of engaging the administration every day, why can't we have a Mkusa Kiti? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It will be to Kalema David. You stated in your manifesto that you will come to the rescue of students when they are arrested. How sure are you that the students will not abuse that offer? And if they do, how will you solve it? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, Madam Commissioner, I think you just need to revisit my manifesto and read it well. But uh, I thank you for the question. Give me time. Give me time. My manifesto is here. They are here. So allow me give them to you. So, so excuse, excuse, let's be calm. Let's be calm. So my manifesto states clearly on matter security that I will come to rescue the students when they are innocently arrested. When they are innocently arrested. We've been having a narrative We've been having a narrative of our student being arrested 
and they have no one to call unto, they have no one to cry unto. And therefore, this time, we need people who can be representatives of the students. We need people who will be on the ground there for the student. Therefore, uh, I will be there to rescue the students that are arrested innocently. This is how I'm going to do it. <laughs> this is how I'm going to do it. Relax. This is how I'm going to do it. This is how I'm going to do it. The power that is bestowed upon the president. The mandate that is given to the president of this institution is an authority that, has, that allows him to enter into any office. And that is why, and that is why, and that is why I want to present myself to you. Not as a boss, but as a servant. So that I may serve the interests of the students. In your manifesto, you touch on advocating for mental resources. Can you, please, uh, can you please tell us the resources currently available in the university and what do you believe should be added or improved on? The mental resources or the mental health. Thank you very much. It is among my manifesto. You got it very right. I don't complain. And this is in my manifesto, I, I indicated very clearly because the fact that we have come now as a people and as a nation, it is very clear that many of these people are suffering from mental health because of a lot of things that are happening out there. Number one, in the institution we have the facilities that are trying to promote the, good, the, the, the welfare of the students. But when I become the president, when I become the president, I just indicated very clearly that I'm going to advance, I am going to promote, I am going to influence, I am going to make sure that the facilities are made and advanced in a good way. Thank you. I have to excuse the bus. So, and lastly, and lastly, the commission, the commission, if it is possible, let us try to observe time. If you give me one minute, let's try to observe time. Yes. Everyone is given two minutes. Two minutes. So when you see, we are telling you, your time is up, that is after two minutes. Yeah, so to finalize on my point, I indicated that we are going to have uh, seminars, we are going to have uh, enterprises to talk to, the, to these people on issues that are, that are affecting them outside there. These people are having depression even because of the economy of Kenya itself. And when I become the president, I am going, I am, when I become the president, I am going to liaise with other organizations that are running let's listen my team let's listen. i am not going to promise these comrades things that are not within my parameters and therefore i have indicated very clearly that once given a chance to become the chairperson of the mkusa student council i am going to work hand in hand with the organizations that promote the mental health of people and that is where i'm going to help it thank you You talked about comrades' presentation. In as much as we desire to have the students' interests prioritized, the university still has its interest and the final say. How do you intend to moderate students' interests to be reasonable and realistic and also impact the university's decisions in the students' interests? Thank you very much. That was one of my manifesto agenda. It was about the comrade representation. So comrades, whenever there is a mess in the institution, the best way to go is not to call for any uh, call for demonstration. Maybe we can call it a peaceful demonstration. I want to assure you that there is no any peaceful demonstration. Because even Eric Ochiang himself cannot participate in a peaceful demonstration. Demonstrations are always messy, destructive, and chaotic. And therefore, in my power, 
I can't resort to call for a demonstration to solve our comrades' problem. Because, because, because I, I believe in dialogue. I believe in dialogue, comrades. And here, we are all intellectuals. I can go there in the office and the, the, those in authority sit down, discuss, and come with a vivid discussion decision. Comrades, we believe in the power of dialogue. In the power of dialogue, comrades. In the power of dialogue. Do you think those who are in authority are mad that they can't be listened? Sit back and analyze our problems. And therefore, I will channel them and be solved in appropriate manner. Otherwise, thank you. In your manifesto, in your manifesto, you spoke about internship opportunities for comrades. Attachment opportunities and internship opportunities for comrades. You spoke about getting internship opportunities for, uh, for comrades in the companies around and spoke about the previous uh, regimes having ruined the reputation of the university in those uh, institutions. So our question to you is, in line with the fact that the, our reputation is ruined, how are you going to ensure you convince the companies to allow MKU students for attachment in their, uh, in their companies? Thank you so much for that question. Uh, in fact, I have been having sleepless night because of that question. I was told that it takes one comrade to define and win the name of the university. And it takes one student to clean or to redeem the reputation of the university. I have uh, uh, comrades here that I met. They went to Tika High School uh, inquiring for attachment from the School of Education. And they were told, we do not take students from Mount Kenya University. So you are asking, how am I going to mend this? Now, we must come to an agreement that it is the students that ruined the reputation of the university. And we must come to an agreement that it is us students once more to sit down and reason and know how to uh, uh, solve this issue and bring back the glory of our university. So, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, these are the steps that I'm going to do. One, I am going to invest in the clubs and societies in this institution. I am going to invest on the clubs and societies in, the, in this institution. Uh, secondly, I am going to uh, take my personal initiative and even visit this institution and uh, negotiate for attachments for our students. You have given me that mandate and I have the ability. Thank you so much. Mr. Samuel. Yes. In your manifesto, you talked about empowerment to the students yes. to hear their voices and inclusivity. Yeah. So, how do you intend to get their views in the fact that there are thousands of students in MKU, including e-learners? So, how will you get their views and also include the ones who may be too shy to speak up? That is the question that I've been waiting for, and just to begin with, 
Thank you. So I've been running my campaigns. I've been, uh, uh, I've been reminding the comrades that Lemis campaign or Lemis administration is not about one community. It is not about one religion. I am very much aware that we come from different backgrounds. And once I become the president, when I talk of empowerment, I mean that these comrades have been doing businesses but have never gotten an opportunity to practice, to make sure that they have the opportunities being showcased in the, in the institution. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, so, so kindly, kindly, kindly. The way that I'm going to make sure that I get to access all the comrades, all the comrades, if you follow on what I've been indicating, I have also made very clear that I'm going to have public participation every month to make sure that comrades from different faculties, from different departments, from different schools get a chance to share what they are facing as challenges. So, Madam Commissioner, I guess, I guess, I guess I have tried as much as possible to articulate my issues. On empowerment, I was trying to make sure, and even the opponents, you can hear this, because at the end of the day, it is not about Lemi, it is not about my team, it is about all of us. All of us are, ha are having the same challenges. Out there, we are doing businesses. The other day, I found another lady who was selling perfumes at, at her pocket. And if that lady gets a chance to showcase the business she's doing in the institution, she's going to have good clients. Thank you very much. Asantemi, 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 Asantemi. Okay, thank you. Okay, our last question for the, uh, for the night. In your manifesto, you touch on funding and improving the study work program. Which areas in the university do you believe students should get more opportunities? And how many students do you target to enroll in this program? Thank you very much. The question on the work study program. As we all know that comrades normally depend on help loans. So in my administration, I will ensure that the comrades get something to some jobs in the institution. For example, working around with the biometric materials so that they can have something they can spend as they wait for help loans. Secondly, under work study problem, work study program, will ensure that the less fortunate and vulnerable student, student get something which they can spend when the help loan delays. And lastly, comrades, under work study program, I will ensure equality and disparity when these kind of jobs are being distributed, so that those who are less fortunate, the orphans are considered on the same. Thank you. Let me get a minute. A minute kindly. And I will tell you for certainty that each one of us of them has qualified and each one of them deserves. But you have the final say as the comrades. So what are we asking as a commission, as the entire team that is uh, overseeing the elections? Ask your friends, ask the comrades to come out in big numbers on Thursday to vote in your delegate. And as you have noticed, we have increased the number of delegates from last year last year we had 101 this year we have 117 so so that gives you a lot more probabilities and one thing as somebody has said when the candidates have said 
we have a university to guard after the elections. We have a comrade to guard after the elections. So what we are saying, what we are saying is continue uh, conducting yourselves as responsible citizens, as responsible students, and give us a very peaceful election. I know you're going to do that. We are on the lookout. Yes, and we, ad we advocate for peace. But in case you try it the other way, we are watching. So all the best to our candidates and whoever you give us, we are going to work with them. Asante Nisana. Thank you so much for joining us today. God bless you so much. We can now leave for our next move.